What's up, dog gang? Welcome back to my channel. So, this is gonna be. I just got Wendy's real quick. If you know me, chicken nuggets and fries, but I got the spicy nuggets, and apparently, I heard that the spicy nuggets aren't the normal spicy nuggets, they're like nuclear spicy nuggets. So, we're gonna see. I actually like hot stuff. Um, I'm from South Carolina, like, way out in the country where the, like, the island parts where they speak Creole and, like, English mixed together. <laughs> um, like, I can understand it if, like, you're talking to me, but I can't speak it because I live in... Florida and have no use for it so yeah so I just got 10 little nugs can you see them oh they're red do you see that they're like bright red y'all okay so this is gonna be my two week do pick tent update too since I didn't do one um because I was thinking about that today I'm like shit I need to film and you guys, I just got back from the nail salon. Look how cute! Like, this is my first time getting gel. It's like a really pretty gray color. Oh my god, like I'm so in love with it. My little emo kid. <laughs> it's probably coming out right now, but I don't care. Like, I think it's pretty. I just wanted something different and I wanted to like make myself feel better because I'm going to break up <laughs> so I'm like why not oh wow so do big some stuff well they changed my pharmacy low-key without my knowledge because one day I just get a phone call and she's like hey this is blah 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 from Briova that was the other pharmacy and she was like um can I have your consent to switch you to a different pharmacy so I'm like okay because I knew that if I said no, like, I wasn't going to get my medicine, and that's not going to solve a problem for anybody, but there is, if you're on Dupixent, and, um, you're, like, if you're on Dupixent, if you're a patient, there is a group on Facebook that is, mm, that is just like a discussion group so if you think you're having this like if you're in that group already you'll probably see my post from last night because you kind of can't see it now because the lady literally sat there and like made all my dead skin go away except for like this part but I was feeling so bad she literally took her little cuticle clippers and was like picking my dead skin off like she was so sweet she was bomb I don't remember what her name was um so like my whole body is just peeling because I guess that um your body is shedding the dead skin cells and so I was kind of like, because I didn't, if you don't know me, this is my second time on Dewixion, and I didn't have the peeling much, much last time around, barbecue sauce, and so I was like, okay, what is this? Am I dying? Like, what's going to happen? Am I going to turn into a butterfly? Like, what? Like, what's happening? So... I'm like, hey, has anybody else got peeling? And they're like, yeah. The first couple of weeks, oh my god, that is bright red, y'all. The first, everybody's saying like the first two weeks that they got a lot of 
some peeling and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, it's probably nothing to worry about. We're okay. We don't need to go to the emergency room for some peeling skin. So they changed to the pharmacy and the lady gave me the number for the pharmacy and I'm like, you know what? Because I asked her on the phone because I had filled a, the, I filled my prescription last Monday and if you get it ordered straight to you and not your doctor's office, it comes two day shipping in a box with ice packs so don't worry about that it has to go straight in the fridge as soon as you get it but it's on ice packs while it's coming to you so it's okay you don't have to be freaked out about it being on a truck and they do pat it very good and they put insulation inside the box to keep it cold so you're gucci Oh. Oh. All right. That like sneaks up on you. Oh, girl. Oh. Oh, okay, that, that sneaks up on you, <laughs> like, you're chewing into it, and you're like, okay, this is okay, we're good, and then it's like, and you're like, oh, okay, so, the lady had said that they already canceled my order, but, Thank God it probably got sent out before they could cancel it because she had called me the day before and I guess like I, I don't pick up the phone if I don't know who it is and I have a completely new number now so most of the time it's either like you have to text me or leave me a voicemail and so they called again I answered it and she's like it's blah 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 and that whole thing happened so I think if I would have answered the phone a day earlier I wouldn't have a message so I'm like you know what this is before I knew that it was coming so I'm like you know what Sydney let's call these people back so I call Briova again and I'm like hi it's Sydney Walker um my account has been deactivated already and they got my consent to switch to a new pharmacy and I was like it's a Vela and first thing the guy says is oh are you on fertility treatment because this pharmacy does specialize in mostly expensive as fuck medicine but it's basically pretty much known for fertility. It's in Orlando. And I'm like, oh no. I'm like, I I have eczema. I'm on the pigment. Oh no. Mm -mm. Like, I love kids. And I would love to have my own kids one day. And be a mom. But not at 25. Okay? Like, no, no. Like, we're not doing that today. <laughs> Like, and yes, I can have children, if that was your question, for my people that ask about my disability all the time, yes, it works, okay, like, that stuff works, <laughs> like, we're good, but, I'm telling this guy, I'm like, did they cancel my order? Like, what's going on? I had a shipment that I sent out on Monday, and I didn't have, like, that first, you get two uh, syringes in the box. And I'm like, well, <laughs> brain fart. Well, and I'm like, well, 
I don't have any medicine. That last dose is my loading dose. And then the guy was like, I'll make note of it. I was like, please do. I need a shot next week, like, pronto. And then the guy's like, oh, sure, Miss Walker. We'll make, we'll make note of it. And I'm like, yep, uh-huh, because... Honestly, probably when I call because I've raised so much hell because they've given me such a hard time with the authorization. I mean, I was nice about it. I'm always like super sweet. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Thank you so much. Like, you were so helpful. Like, I'm really, really nice about it. Like, it never turns into like an escalation or anything, but I'm just like well I need this now like it's my medicine like people don't like people don't realize when you're on a medication like this and like you miss a shot or something happens like it literally like it's playing with your life when you have eczema this bad and I'm just like listen like I need my medicine please and thank you and literally when I call the um, automated machine is like, you recently just called, is it for the same reason? Yes. And then they make you put your birth date and your last name in and your phone number. So usually when I call, probably when I call, when it comes up on the screen, somebody's probably like, hey, it's this girl again who wants it. <laughs> like, Want to play rock, paper, scissors? Like, I'm not that bad, but, I mean, mm, <laughs> like, this is important to me. Like, it's my life. So, I mean, I just wanted to make sure that I stayed on these people, like, white on rice. So, honestly, I have had a lot of changes because when I'm peeling, I can see the skin underneath and it looks clear. I mean, that's obviously still healing. That's a scar. That's never going to go away. I either... I can't decide if I want to get it, like, cosmetically, like, stippled in, or just get a big-ass tattoo over it, and I'll probably just get a big-ass tattoo over it, because what's the fun of having normal colored skin? Hold on, y'all. I'm going to pop a Benadryl really quick, because if you don't know me, <laughs> I'm allergic to latex. And the lady was using rubber gloves on my feet, so, and I'm kind of itchy, and I don't want to puff up like Mrs. Puff on Spongebob, like, on camera, that's not good, so... Sorry, everybody. Um, I've just had a lot of peeling. Um, I've been like fatigued is one of the side effects. Like I've been like really sleepy right after a shot. Or oh my god, the dr the most annoying one probably has to be um, the dry itchy eyes like girl I could do without that I hate when my eyes itch I have seasonal allergies like I sneeze and sniffle and my nose runs and my eyes water all year long like I hate I'm allergic to everything y'all like I'm allergic to latex like insert condom joke here like no like literally my my ex-boyfriend found out because 
we were like having a party at his house and we're all sitting on the couch and I'm just drinking my beer, living my best life. And here he comes with a balloon, like the, like the, like the helium one. And anytime I see a balloon, I flip shit and I absolutely love it, lose it. And I start freaking out because a balloon can literally put me in the hospital, kill me. It can shut down my airway and I can die. And I just start freaking the fuck out. Aaron is like, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. I'm like, I'm allergic to latex. Babe, get that thing away from me. <laughs> like just freaking the hell out. And he's looking at me like, oh my God, this girl. <laughs> like, huh, are you okay? And then I was just freaking out. Because he is like blowing, blowing it up and he was doing this like weird magic trick with like a cell phone and the balloon and I'm just like, oh Jesus, I have to kiss you, I'm gonna die. <laughs> like this is not gonna be cute. Because what a lot of people don't know about latex is that it releases protein. So if you touch that, and then come touch me, like, I can still have a reaction for it. So, I'm going to go wash his hands go, and wash his face. You ain't touching me with that shit. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> so, anyway, I've just had a lot of peeling and a lot of just, like, kind of dry eyes and sleepy that's about it um I'm a little bit less itchy um I've been on a lot of like medications though so I had a lot of like steroids and stuff to hold me over oh and I made a video of me opening the, the box when I got my medication so that will be inserted in here somewhere at some point
so this is the actual picking box um two syringes come in there so you use one and then the other two weeks later um i'll open it <laughs> um my address is on the other side so i have it upside down but yeah i'll open this guy so it's just a like a, a push This thing, but it's okay. It's okay. And then push, and then you open it, and there we go. Try not let everybody see my address. Cause that's not good. Okay. So it comes here, like this. You push this thing, and you open it, and. You have this little roll. That little blue thing is the instructions. So if you're a first time mom, I suggest you use them. I'm not gonna take the needles out of the box. I just wanted to see how everything wanted you to see how everything is set up. There it is. So yeah, that was my little unboxing video love y'all stay true and stay weird and i'll see you later bye <laughs> if you want to see so like if you're starting out you know so i will totally make a starting out on dupixit video i have a whole entire dupixit playlist on my channel and i'll put it in the description box i don't know why i didn't mention this in the other videos but that playlist is from a year ago when I started it. So most of those videos are old, but they're still pretty like relevant. I feel like there's good information in them. And like the main thing when you're healing is just be chill. Don't stress yourself out. Relax. Just it stress can definitely aggravate eczema. Like just be chill, man. <laughs> like like, it's okay. So. That's that. And the lady that has been to me is a registered nurse. She's actually like a in-home health nurse she gives like shots and medications and stuff all day long so she was quick with it me and my mom were freaking out when she did it so i was just like i love you but mm -mm. and we thought that tuesday night was gonna be a close call because she forgot but she came right over well she's like i've been so spaced out because her uncle lives with her he had been drinking and he set the kitchen on fire so she had to call 911 and everything this was like the week before and they had to come out there and rescue her uncle because he was so drunk and about to pass out from the smoke inhalation and stuff like that that the fire department had to go get him and she said that the kitchen's just gone walls everything like carpet gone so and of course my mom first thing my mom said is are your cats okay and she's like, yeah, they're fine. Because one of her, she used to live out here. And one of her cats, he is gorgeous. Like, big, fat, orange, fluffy cat. He is absolutely gorgeous. And he is a sweet little baby. His name is Rufus. And he was one of the, like, he was somebody's pet out here. And they left. And they dumped him and left him. 
and she adopted him, which I was so glad because he's such a sweet baby and I hate people who have cats, dogs, anything and just dump them like and don't take them with them like I don't care what your situation is you can find somebody to foster your dog like there's no like excuse for that honestly this is probably my cruelty free side coming out but like there's no excuse for that shit ever like I don't understand, like, it's like, do you want me to move and leave you and say, oh, just fend for yourself in the wild? Like, no. Like, those cats wouldn't know what to do if they have to go back outside. Mine would know what to do. She's been a house cat for eight years since she was, she was on the street for two months. I had her since she was eight weeks old. So I'm like... Bruh, really? So, yeah, this apartment complex is just, I don't even know. But, hmm, do I have anything else to tell you? Um, no, I think I covered all my bases. Oh, I sized up my ears. Don't think, I'll make a, I will make a video about it soon. This one's kind of pissed off at me because I think I tore it. So, it's not very happy with me right now. I have a light plugs in. Here, I'll take it out and show you. This is probably going to gross everybody out. But if you don't want to see it, fast forward. Okay, love you. Um, here, this is what it looks like. Out. Um, yeah, that's it. That is my little butthole ear. <laughs> and I just got barbecue sauce all over my pants. Oh, uh, okay. And these are like my favorite pants ever. I live in these pants. I'll probably die in these pants. <laughs> like, that's how serious it is. Okay, so, blah, blah, blah. Oh, ring. These are, I forgot to show you what they look like, but they are single flared with a little O ring on the back. They're glass. Opalite often gets put in the stone section because I guess they use it as like the substitute for opal because opal, real opal, is um, too soft to make jewelry from. So. That's why there's man-made opalite, which is just as pretty. These are very blue with teeth all change. See how it's like yellow and blue? So pretty. So yeah, those are the current plugs that I'm working right now. I'll do a plug collection and an update. That'll probably be next week. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. You are a freaking trooper <laughs> if you stuck through it. I love y'all oh so very much, and I will see you in my next video. Stay tuned, stay weird, bye.